asshole. Excuse me, sir. Did you throw a tomato at me? If you did, I assume it was an accident, and I'm willing to accept an apology. I apologize. Rose. Oh, my God. You scared the living daylights out of me. What on earth? What happened to you? The most wonderful thing. Wonderful, your nose is bleeding. A man threw a tomato at me. What? Three tomatoes, actually. He threw three tomatoes at me, point blank. Abe! I gave him a chance to apologize. He didn't take it, so I pushed him. You what? I physically put my two hands on his chest and pushed him, and then he pushed me back. So I pushed him back, and then he pushed me back, and before I knew it, we were fighting. Well, sort of. It was more of a free-form grapple than actual fisticuffs, but we scuffled like dandies and fell in the street. We almost got hit by a garbage truck, but it was going very slowly, so we managed to roll out of the way. Abe, this is terrible. You were assaulted by a stranger. No, Rose, not a stranger. David Merrick. David Merrick? Who is that, a gangster? Kind of. He's a Broadway producer, and Rose, he read it. David Merrick read my piece, and he despised it. His assistants, too, they pushed me around a little as well. They hate me. They all absolutely hate me. Well, terrific. Don't you understand? My piece, it got to them. My words incited theater people, people who make a living sitting down. It incited them to get up and commit an act of physical violence. Dave, I think this must have been a very underripe tomato when it hit you in the head. You are possibly concussed. No. Rose, it was a perfectly ripe, beautiful tomato. It would have made a wonderful salad. And instead, it was meant for me. Can I please take you to the doctor? Moish was wrong. His father should have opened that goat farm, and the written word, it's going to change the world. Here we go, Rosie. Moish, buy a goat. The world is changing. Don't come in here. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> pants be damned. 